Nobody wants to be around someone who sucks the mental energy out of others. It's exhausting. To make sure that you don't end up being this person, today I'm talking about being positive. I've talked about how I became a positive influence, so I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to watch that. But once we become one, how do we use that positivity for good? And why even should we? First off, if you're dealing with mental issues like anxiety or depression, do not worry about being positive. Focus on feeling better first. Now, if you're not this type of person, it's time to spread some positivity. If you see a person that you don't hate starting a business or creating a social media account, like the content post or send a positive message. It takes 20 seconds or less. If an old person looks like they're struggling to carry something, then offer to help them. Spreading positivity isn't a lot of effort. It's as simple as that. Find small things that impact people's lives in a positive way because it really is the little things that can make a person's day. Now you know how to spread positivity, but why should we even do this? To start off, there's too much negativity in the world. Social media is constantly filled between the two extremes. Either we see things that are really good, like the next genius in fencing or the 16 year old Olympic gold medalist. Otherwise, we see horrible things like natural catastrophes or wars around the world. And more often, we see the bad things. Olympic gold medalists come every four years, and it takes even longer to hear of a child prodigy. So let's think of the normal routine. We go to sleep late, we wake up groggy, and then we unlock our phone or we turn on the TV and we see negative content everywhere. And media companies don't care about how it affects us because that's what we're drawn to as people and that's what gets the highest viewership. Lots of us deal with so many unfortunate situations in our life, and it's in the negativity that we feel comfort and familiarity. So in general, most people will fall into a repeated cycle where they see the world as a place filled with negative content. But if we stick to this cycle, if we don't eventually become positive and share positivity, our life doesn't change for the better. That's the truth. So what's in it for us? When we do positive things, there's an immediate sense of gratification that we made a positive impact in someone's life. And this gratification, whether it's temporary or not, helps us with our insecurities. If you feel like you're not making an impact or you feel like you're not providing value, then doing this little small thing makes you feel like you have value. If you feel like you're not a good friend and you do something good for a friend, it offers that validation that you are. So in general, it helps us feel more secure about our inner thoughts. It helps us have less doubt and helps increase our confidence. It also gives a better understanding of the idea that if we could make somebody's life better, then why can't we make our own lives better? Outside of internal improvements, you might interacting with someone who could be your next friend, significant other, or an opportunity to your next job. Opposed to if we didn't do any of these acts of kindness, we would be in the same place we were when we started the day. So be kind, be positive, and keep moving forward. Anyways, that is all I have on this topic. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. If you liked the video and want to support me, feel free to like and subscribe. And as always, keep improving, stay productive, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.